Yo, what's up, people of YouTube? Source of Crockton here with another movie review. Um, I actually wasn't going to do this till tomorrow, but I just, like, it was whatever. It's like 12.30 in the morning, but uh, like, I, I couldn't sleep, and I was bored, so I just decided to do this. Um, today's going to be about Ice Age 4, and I was that, like, it's a movie that I was, you know, a, a series that I watched when I was younger, and I guess I just decided to watch the last one. Because apparently this is supposed to be the last one. And I tell you, it was amazing. Like, the story was a little short, but I still enjoyed it. Like, I, for some reason, I felt more attached to this one than the other ones. And it was just funnier. Man, it's always been, like, this This franchise has always been good. It's just that, I mean, it, it went off nice. It, like, it was like a great ending to this to this saga, again, I guess, like, this part of my, my life, I guess, you, I mean, I know that kind of, sounds kind of stupid and cheesy, but I don't really, I mean, if you watched the first movie when you were, like, young, like, really young, and then you continue to watch it, then, like, I guess it's, like, it becomes a part of you, and I'm, I know, I'm, and I am sad that it's over, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad, because it ended on a good note. Like, it wasn't, like, one of those crappy-ass, like, last films of, of a franchise. Like, there's a few of those. I, didn't, I can't think of any on top of my head, but I'm sure they're out there. But, I mean, it ended off on a good note. And the concept that they inputted here towards family was a lot more well-developed than the ones in the previous ones. Because now they're little tribe thing. Or the, the, like, it went from being just them three to a full family. Like, I thought that was legit. Like, it was so awesome and all done. Like, it was, what, Manny, Diego, and Sid. That's how we started. And then, in the second movie, is when we met Ellie and the two little weasel dudes, which I can't remember their names. I, I guess it, like, it's not really shown a lot. But whatever. And then in the third movie, Ellie's pregnant. And uh, the baby's born, you know, at the end. And uh, so in this one, it was actually like, it's like, I don't know how they skipped like so much and shit. Because in this one, it was like, she was already a teenager. I mean, maybe, you know, like she was in that teenager status, I guess. Um, and her name was like, but, uh, whoa, dang. Hold on. We got it right here. Wait, what the heck? Hold on. Dang. I can't not find me. But anyways, it was like... Like legit, like I like what they did to to this one in particular. I'm just trying to see. Damn. So Scrat was funny in this one too. I should mention that it, that one was just, like the fact that Pangea broke because of him. That was like funny. No, I don't even remember. Like. It's like, it's so, it's like very late right now, so, you know, you gotta kind of forgive me for this one. Um, and then, and Diego's love interest, that one was like, the biggest shock, like, Diego being like the ferocious, like in the first movie it was like the ferocious, and then he became like family, <laughs> family based, and like watching his family's back, and now he has a love interest, like I thought that was cool, like, giving Diego something. And then we actually have to see Sid's families are complete assholes, um, except for the grandma. The grandma was the grandma was like the coolest one of them all, just because she has a pet whale, <coughs> and uh, that's just freaking cool. Um, let's see what else I should mention without it spoiling too much. Um, The, the concept of pirate ships is a little weird in this one. Um, ice, ice ships. That was like, 
really like confused me because like how do you make those to begin with if you're like animals and uh, what else I just don't want to spoil too much because if you haven't watched the movie then I don't want to like give it away or shit um, but I do suggest watching it. If you watch the other ones, you'll you'll definitely love this one. If you haven't watched the entire like the previous ones, I guess you can still watch it, but you won't get the full connection. I guess like you won't like get the same feeling as those that have watched the previous three. Um, so I suggest that if you do watch it, you watch the other ones as well. So you can get the whole story and how it went from what it was to what it is now. And maybe you'll get a little bit more feel for the characters. And, uh, but yeah, like, I, I guess this, this movie just, like, it's a saga. It's a part of my life that has ended, but will continue on in my heart, I guess. And again, I, I know that sounds stupid and cheesy, but it's, it, if you're like me and you watch the other ones when you were younger, you you would still have the same feeling. So, yeah. But anyways, this has been... That's it for this movie review. Um, like I said in the previous one, if there's any movie you guys want me to watch and review, then I will, you know, post it in the comment section down below. Um, if you watched this movie already, you know, what did you think of it? Uh, and if you watched the previous ones, how did you think it ended? Like, how did you think it ended the the saga? And uh, just any other thoughts and comments, uh, video responses are welcome as well. Um, and yeah, so leave your suggestions for movies you want me to review for you guys. Um, and if you do give me a suggestion that I actually like, and then you know I'll go watch it. And then when I review it, I will actually link your channel and post a comment like somewhere on the, s the screen um, as an annotation um, so that you guys maybe like get some recognition as well or whatever. But yeah, so um, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, don't forget to comment and uh, I'll catch you guys for the next movie review. So, see you later.